service plumbing sucks. But if you want to get into plumbing, you can try this instead. This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. Number one, if you don't want to get covered in I don't know if I can say that. Poop. Crap. It is what it is. If you don't want to get covered in you can still be a plumber. Believe it or not, as a plumber, well, you can get a job with some really cool views. Maybe even move up to an office. Hang around till the very end because I'm going to tell you one reason you may want to do service work. I remember one of the very first jobs I had, I was about five stories off the ground looking over at downtown Dallas. And I thought, man, this is really, really cool. Now, it was a remodel, but it wasn't a dirty, dirty job. We had added on to some floors of a bank, adding on to it, a remodel. Well, we did have to tie into some existing lines, but they were never too bad. And at the time, I don't know that it would have bothered me anyway. I understood I was getting into plumbing, but you hardly ever have to touch poop as a plumber, believe it or not. Now, if you're a septic tank guy, maybe that's all you deal with every day. Maybe you're a pumper truck operator. So there's a lot of different things that you could do, but you don't have to do that. The views can get even better. I remember building a job down in Austin, Texas. I would get there early to go up to the roof every day to watch the deer out across the field. It's actually pretty cool. And if you move up, you can also move into the office as possibly an estimator, a cat operator, a manager, a director of operations. There's a lot of things you can do to move up. But a good thing, too, about not doing service work, being in commercial, well, new installs. The toilets are new. The urinals are new. And I tell you what, there is nothing worse than an old used urinal. Taking them off, trying to clean all that crystallization out, it's just not good. But, you know, it is what it is. I have worked on some of the biggest commercial jobs in the world, believe it or not, one of the largest community hospitals, over 2 million square feet, and I was the quality control manager. You never deal with poop. You're installing new pipe underground, and as the quality control manager, you're just checking and double-checking to make sure everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And the good thing about that, well, lunch comes to you. The food trucks actually come out at a certain time each and every day. They normally come out. At the morning break, they come out at lunch, and they come again at the afternoon break. Now, these things are literally a truck that pulls up, opens the doors. They got bunches of ice. They got drinks. They have snacks. They, have, they even have lunch in there. Some of them pull up and cook hamburgers. I had one in Austin that cooked the most amazing hamburgers for lunch. And another good thing about it, well, there's normally a potty nearby. Well, it's probably a porta johnny but still. There's something about that blue water that just smelling it makes you understand you don't have to deal with poop all day, every day. But then again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, another great thing about not doing service work, you don't get bit by dogs. There's no allergies to worry about walking into people's houses. You don't have to worry about putting on floor savers every time you walk in because, well, there's no floor. You're just walking around in the dirt or maybe on concrete. If you are working on the floor, that's normally later in the job where you're installing new fixtures. Again, nothing old, nothing dirty, nothing that smells nasty. Oh, and by the way, no customers to deal with. You don't have to deal with different homeowners each and every day, all day, telling you how you're overcharging them and nothing you did was right. Well, it's normally not like that all the time, but they are every now and then. And here's another thing. Well, you do have customers. They're just superintendents and general contractors and things like that. So you still need to treat them, well, just like you would a normal customer. And the cool thing is, too, you've got a toolbox normally provided by you. They've normally got big gang boxes where you just put your tool bag every night. That way, when you come in the next morning, it's right where you left it. So your tools go in a box. They've got it there for you for storage. Man, it's kind of neat. Maybe even up at the office, you've got a place where you can leave your hard hat, your jacket, things like that. So literally, you just show up, walk in, grab your stuff, head up to the floor, and pull out your tools and go to work. And on a lot of jobs, there's even transportation. I had crews out at DFW Airport 
where we had to park remotely, they took a bus and delivered them right down to the job site. Not a bad deal. Show up at the job site on a bus, walk in, pull your tools out of the gang box, have a quick safety meeting, and then get to work. One thing people normally ask me about commercial work, is commercial work only done by union plumbing companies? The answer is no. There's a lot of open shop companies that are big enough. They do work like that too. But also, I get asked, is commercial work all that union contractors do? And well, for the most part, yeah. Most union contractors do predominantly commercial work. There are some around the country that do residential. I tried to do it here in Dallas, but Local 100 didn't really support residential service plumbing. So the big difference is, yes, union does a lot of big commercial work. They don't do all of it. And no, they don't do a lot of residential service work. Union companies mainly do commercial work. So the bigger commercial jobs could be union, but it doesn't have to be. There are some large mechanical contractors open shop too. And there's not very many residential service companies that are union, but there are some. Another great thing about not doing service work, well, service work's tough because you're in a van, you drive around, different house every day, you never know what's going on. But commercial work, well, you know right where you put your tools. It's the same old, same old routine. You show up at the same time. You go in, you do the same things. You get your tools out. You have a meeting. You go to the area that you were in normally the day before. You continue working on exactly what you were working on. Very routine very systematic, a very controlled environment. But remember, plumbing comes in multiple forms. And if service is not for you, see, you can still be a plumber. There's new installs on the sewer, whether it's cast iron or PVC. There's new installs on the water lines. Plumbers install gas lines, at least here in Texas and a lot of other states. And oh, by the way, plumbers with the right endorsement also do medical gas installations. Oxygen, nitrous oxide, vacuum, medical air, all kinds of different things. And trust me, that is about the cleanest of clean of the work that you can do. And oh, by the way, like I said, this is sponsored by the Wakefield app. If you want to be an early bird, sign up for it. Go below, then you'll get free access for a limited time when it first comes out. So there's a million great reasons why you don't have to do service work. You can get into commercial, you can move up, you can do wonderful things. But to be honest, you can make more money faster if you start doing service work. I like starting in new construction to learn how everything is under the floors, in the walls. You completely understand the system if you can install it. Then if you get into service work, when you come back and fix it, it's amazing. And commercial service work may smell a little worse. No, it does smell a lot worse, but chances are you can even make more money there. Residential service gets you paid now. You don't have to wait. There's so many good things about residential service. We're the plumbers that wear the capes every day. And I promise you, if you really want to make the most money, that's where you can do it. Thanks, service, if you really want to grow. And if you love this video, I think you're going to like this one.